so today we've got something really exciting. This is the Fellow Ode Brew Grinder. We're going to be unboxing this bad boy and taking a really quick look at this grinder. We're also going to grind through some beans and see how well it performs. Fantastic. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, just by the packaging, um, super high quality uh, material used. We have some instruction booklets, um, so we'll just pop them to the side. But just like that, we've got everything in here. In the box, we've pretty much got three components. The manual, the grinder itself, and a little brush. Very cute little brush. It's branded and uh, it's soft bristle. I'm gonna put those two the, to the side and we'll uh, take a closer look at the grinder itself. Uh, it's very similar, if not the same material that they use on the kettles. Um, so it just kind of covers everything and protects it while in transit. Um, yeah, so there's three pieces of this Plastic. We've got it covering the body, the lid, and the little grind spin down here. Okay, quite a few things that I'd like to cover in this video. Um, first of all, I'm just kind of going to point through uh, some of the main features that this grinder has. Um, so, first of all, it's got an 80 gram capacity in this little hopper. It's not designed to hold beans. Um, when you press the button, it will grind everything continuously and it will stop automatically when it senses that there's no more beans left in the hopper. So this grinder is ideal and uh, built for single dosing. Um, on the top here, we have a little um, diagram of Fellow's uh, recommendations on what to on what uh, coarseness is suitable for uh, different brewing guides. We have the Prismo at the start on the lower side. Then we have cupping, AeroPress, pour over, electro electric coffee maker, French press, and then cold brew towards the end. Now, the uh, one of the most striking things about this piece of equipment is the grind dial. The dial here is really prominent in this grinder's design, as you can see, it's the main feature here. And the clicks is just super satisfying. Really cool to have that smack bang in the, in the uh, center of this grinder. Super simple to use. Now, um, another quick thing to discuss is here we have the little knocker. This is really cool because it helps to remove any of the grind stuck up in the chute. And this will lower the whole grinder's retention. Um, down here, we have the little ground spin. Um, so this is feature packed. It's got a little silicon uh, or a little soft plastic uh, funnel. Um, and this just helps to align it perfectly so that um, all of the coffee ground through goes directly into here. Um, then we have, it's like a brushed stainless steel uh, body with the nice matte black uh, finish that we love. Um, it also has these uh, two fins uh, down in the center here and they really help to uh, funnel your coffee grinds into whatever brewing device you're going to use. Um, this is also really cool I found when I was using it for uh, whole beans um, just to have like a little dosing cup sort of thing. So yeah another really cool thing about this is it's magnetic at the bottom. Um, what this does is it actually connects to the base here and it just aligns it perfectly. Um, so that way you don't really have to look at it, it kind of just falls into place just like that and it will grind directly into the uh, ground spin. We also have the uh, one button on here. Uh, so this button is designed just to uh, activate the motor and grind through your coffee. As soon as the PID motor senses that you've completely ground through all of your coffee, it will automatically shut the motor off. But that is kind of optional. You can also press this on and off. We also have the branded grinds brush. So it's got fellow on there. Um, it's all just one piece of metal 
and then it's kind of like a soft similar to some makeup brushes out there. So straight out of the box this is what we have. Now uh, removing the little uh, cord strap we've got the uh, 240 volt the Australian version and we are going to just plug that in. So now we are going to dose up some coffee. I have my scales I have the little uh, Commandante glass bean jar. Okay, cool, so let's get started. Let's dose up uh, 20 grams of coffee. Just a little spritz of water. I'm gonna give it a quick shake. Remove the lid. Put the coffee in, the hopper. Make sure that there's no beans stuck in the jar. Popping the lid back on, we are going to um, grind on this setting first. So this is the number five setting, just to make it easy. So we've got our beans in the hopper, we've set our grind size. All we have to do now is just simply press the button. Fantastic. It gives you a little beep just to let you know that it's done. We are going to click the knocker a couple of times. This is super addictive. I love clicking this. All we need to do now is remove the grounds bin, take off the silicon funnel, and I'm going to weigh out exactly how much has been ground through. Spot on, 20. So it was 19.9 and then it flipped to 20. So for, so for a grind, a, a number five grind size, I'm not too sure if you can see, but that's the uh, level of coarseness, just as an idea. Cool. I'm going to repeat this process, um, but this time I'm actually going to go on its finest setting. We're gonna put our grind spin back in. As you know, some filter recipes call for 15 grams, so I'm going to dose up 15 grams. Give it a little spritz as always. Quick shake. Put in our dose, make sure it's all empty. And we are going to, because we've already adjusted our grind size, we're going to grind through. So just by pressing this button once. Fantastic, and as you've heard, that's all done. So I'm gonna give it a quick click. And let's see what we got. Cool. 14.9, so close. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, we've used just a tiny little bit of water and that really helps to reduce the retention. There still is um, always gonna be that little tiny bit. Now that we've ground through this coffee, I'm actually going to uh, get a picture up and show you the finest setting that it can go. This is with the stock standard burrs. Um, so these, I believe that they are the updated ones um, already installed by Fellow. And there is 31 settings in total um, uh, in uh, grind size increments that you can play around with. This is not a tall grinder. Um, it can fit under a lot of uh, bench tops. And because of its rectangular shape and its rounded corners, it really offers a low profile slick design. In comparison to other grinders that are available on the market, it is very quiet. One of the main key features that sets this grinder apart from the rest is that it has flat burrs located in the uh, top here, just behind this dial. Um, these are 64 millimeter flat burrs. And just to add to this, they are also vertically mounted, which some consider superior to conical design burrs. Now, when you get these grinders, the burrs are incredibly sharp. So please be careful when you're opening this um, to either clean it out or to recalibrate it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Um, 
If you would like to learn more about this grinder, you can do so on our website. I'll have all of the links uh, the, to other videos and different resources mentioned down in the description below. If you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to drop a comment and we'll do our best to uh, return as soon as possible. And if you'd be interested in purchasing one of these grinders, you can do so on our website as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video.